Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Greg. I'm going to go over Lido Dow, or commonly called Lido. Let you guys know that uh, you don't want to underestimate the uh, explosive, possible explosive power behind this guy right here, guys. Okay? You get an overall trend. And uh, I did previous videos on this, of what it did. But you can see it came over here. And it took that out over there, right over there. And it went up onto a nice impulse wave. This is on the daily chart. And you can see from that peak, that peak on the RSI, you have divergence. So that's clearly a five-wave move. So it's a new trend. Because this one right here came down and it bounced out of there. And now it's correcting it. So, what's it going to do? Probably a nice little wave of that size over here. Okay? That's my guess. Right? And you could just say it's a guess for the time being. And what did it do over here? I made a video about that. You can see that uh, this coin is probably winding up into a flat. In my opinion, because you got a three way move there, a three way move there, and it would be your nice flat move, potentially like that. And these C waves can be very strong. I know right now it's in a correction and people are getting bored out of the market. And I know a lot of uh, retail now, after the old FTX thing and all the contagion is going around, and they just left and gave up. Right? That's what they did, guys. A lot of them did. But that could be going on over there. So I'm going to go over here to Lido on Trading View. So let you guys know in this way, they came down and hit that uh, 618. Is it done? Um, It could swing back down there, guys. But I think if it comes down to the uh, 87 cents or maybe even pop down to 78 cents, that's really, really probably going to be the area to pick it up if it's not done. I don't think that it is. Um, I think another leg's coming for uh, Bitcoin, and you'll be able to uh, check this out too. Um, it's getting a little bit big. Um, it's getting a little bit big. You can see it does look like it's going to come down, guys. Just looking at this one hour chart, you got a highest peak on the RSI there, but it's lower in price. So you got uh, hidden bearish divergence right there. Um, I would probably say it's like an ABC corrective move up just just by looking at this uh, data here. You know, it's, uh, you got your bullish divergence right there or your bearish divergence right there. And then that peak right there, which is price is lower than over there, but it's higher in the RSI telling you more than likely that Lido Dow is probably one, two, three, four, five. Lowest peak in the RSI. That's definitely an impulse. So it just made a massive wave four potentially. Um, it could become a C leg, so you want to be aware of that. So just a massive wave four, come back down into those price areas, guys. Check it out. Right in that area, something like that. So you take it off lower time frame, you see it doesn't look so bad, even though on a higher time frame it looks like it gets massive. But fourth waves, especially when they come down like that. Okay, they're actually really good bounce plays. If third wave comes down, those fourth waves bounce, and it's just correcting it and consolidating from this wave to come back down. You know, it won't be as dynamic. If it is a fifth wave, it won't be as dynamic as uh, this wave. Obviously, come down and just uh, ever so slightly. It might speed up in the third wave and come back down to these areas, making that uh, bullish divergence is what I would be checking out, guys. So just like right here. You know, that's what you want to see. Bullish divergence right down there. Boom. Okay. So now you come down. Let's go to the daily. All right. Let me clean that one up right there. Bullish divergence right here on the daily. You got deep reset right there in the RSI. Blast it up into an impulse move. And then right down here, nice and deep in that RSI already. Reset that whole cycle over here. Okay. So it can get itself to do what over there. So at a minimum, more than likely at a minimum, let's just uh, go with uh, a minimum lazy target right now. Over here, 
pick it up 93 cents to 380. That would be a, a bearish move for it. 3x, guys. Just saying. Might want to check into it. I know this is not a popular coin. Um, I don't like it because it has Dow after the name of it, but I'm going to trade the charts, guys. If you made it all the way to the end, do me a huge favor. Drop a like. Hit the subscribe button. Peace.